Hello, my name is Caroline Thomas and I'm here today with Mary Woolley. Um, we are researchers for a project called the Beginner Teacher in Science and Religion Encounter. This is a project being undertaken by the National Institute for Christian Education Research at Canterbury Christchurch University. This project is funded by the Templeton World Charity Foundation. Today we are talking to you about the experiences of beginner teachers as to how knowledge works in science religion encounters in the classroom. In our, in our presentation, we'd like to share some of the findings from our research investigating student teachers experiences of planning for and teaching science religion encounters in the classroom. We consider that a science religion encounter is one where teachers bring science into a RE lesson or religion into a science lesson, which can be prepared or might arise naturally whilst teaching. For example, when children ask challenging questions about religion, science or the big questions that cannot be addressed by science or religion alone. The research findings are based on 17 focus groups with a total of 75 students, each lasting about one hour. We, we investigated students' views across six universities in England. We asked students their views about um, what the purposes of science and religion education were, what, what anxieties they may have experienced or challenges they might have faced when planning for and teaching science and religion encounters. The research was underpinned by a strong ethical framework. We analysed the data and produced a survey to, to investigate early career teachers' perspectives on science and religion encounters in the classroom. So moving on now to the survey responses, you can see from this graph that, that we have a wide range of responses from primary, secondary science and secondary RE teachers, dominated by primary, obviously, but there are enough responses from secondary science and secondary RE teachers to be able to give some valid considerations to their views in this matter. In terms of the purpose of RE, there is a similar split. Beginning primary teachers and science teachers view the primary purpose of RE as to provide values education which combats discrimination. However, the subject specialists, the RE teachers, appear to be more divided about the purpose of the subject, with equal numbers prioritising to provide a values education which combats discrimination, to acquire knowledge about religions and worldviews, and to develop flexibility of mind and make the familiar unfamiliar. The survey only closed a couple of weeks ago, so we're not in a position to share much of the quantitative data. However, here are some initial findings on how different groups of teachers ranked the purpose of their subject. This graph shows the purpose of science. You can see that the large majority of beginning primary teachers, alongside a large number of the secondary science teachers, ranked first to stimulate, nurture children's curiosity and capacity to raise questions. Although the highest ranking purpose of science among science teachers was actually to develop positive scientific attitudes and values such as cooperation, respect for evidence, concern for life and the preservation of the environment. This is in contrast to what RE teachers ranked first as the purpose of science, to teach children the facts and knowledge needed to make sense of the natural world. in order to build their confidence about the teaching of RE.